Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Nicholas No H. I'm a new K-pop reactor, back with a new video. Um, yeah, I took a two-week vacation and uh, kind of needed a break mentally just from everything. Um, there's a lot of uh, comebacks happening or going to be happening very soon, so kind of wanted to pace myself and not get burnt out. Um, and yeah, I know a lot of reactors can record up to like 10 videos in a day, but I get kind of tired after two or three, so yeah. Um, so this is going to be Akamu. Uh, they're a group I've never heard anything from before. I know they've been around for a while. Um, I know that their style is more mellow, I feel like, or at least when I read up about them, they have more of a different vibe from the videos I've reacted to so far. So that's going to be a nice little break, um, just from, you know, super pop music or more mainstream. Uh, I think this is going to be more, uh, more of the uh, kind of songs I listen to just uh, on my own time so that's gonna be exciting for me um, so yeah uh, let's just get straight to the video this is Akmu's Battlefield in three two one go Very eerie from the beginning. Should put the lyrics on. Hold on, before that chorus starts, um, whoa, the lyrics are way deeper than I thought it would be, uh, just from, I mean, it barely even started, but, uh, yeah, they have kids playing with guns, they have explosions, um, they're talking about war, and I guess, you know, it starts from a young age, and we kind of push, uh, at least some of these, you know, some places have been at war forever, and it's kind of just a daily thing, you're expected to go into it, or be involved, um, I don't know if that's the message you're trying to go for yet, but that's kind of the vibe I get so far. Um, but I really like it. Uh, I like the sound so far. It kind of reminds me of uh, Zombie by the Cranberries, just the vibe. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to see what the rest of the song is going to be like. <laughs> voice is very unique. I like it. I like how the video is all black and white and uh, monochrome. Conflicted because I like I'm like bobbing my head to the song because it's good, but the lyrics and the kids are getting shot. Even though it's very playful with the uh, blue, blue blood or uh, whatever it is, but.
like this little breakdown. She's the only one that survived. Is that a school dress? Whoa. That ended abrupt abruptly. I, uh, like, captivated by the whole video. Kind of speechless. I don't know what to say. Uh, it's a good thing because, you know, I was captivated by the whole thing. Um, yeah, the lyrics kind of, I mean, from how it started, it kind of went how I thought it would throughout the song um, in terms of just kind of painting a little bleak, not even a little, like a, a bleak future if you get involved with war and just, just how the world is right now. Um, but sprinkled in was kind of messages of hope. Um, or at least you can try to try to glean some hope from it uh, in all those situations. But uh, like I said, it gave me the Cranberries vibes. Uh, I love the Cranberries. Uh, and yeah, it's a group that uh, I really want to seek out more from. Um, if every song is, you know, kind of thought provoking and has uh, the style of music, not even, you know, how it sounds, just um, just something that is that offers a different kind of sound. Uh, I'm all for that. So if you want to leave it in the comments, anything I can check out, uh, I'll be uh, more than happy to check it out for you, hopefully in the near future. Um, and uh, yeah, please uh, like, the, like the video, subscribe if you like the content, and I'll uh, see you next time. Peace.